In the design process, you have to communicate your ideas with the other stakeholders in the project, such as the owner, engineers, and constructors, which usually require different formats suited to their applications and needs. Therefore, in this lesson, we'll be learning about the layouting process in ARCHICAD. ARCHICAD gives you the option to publish fine-tuned and target-specific project documents. You can use specific layer sets to freely turn on or off fills and hatches when you share your project data with your structural engineer, for instance. On the other hand, you can turn on all necessary fills and related layers when assembling a project documentation set for your landscape designer. And the best part is that you can remotely share your design development project data with clients and colleagues for review and markup, regardless of whether or not they have ARCHICAD installed. The traditional way of documenting is to publish sets of projected views, like floor plans, sections, elevations, details, and some renderings. The live model projections ensure that all the published project views and documents are fully updated and present the current latest design stage. You can be sure any last-minute changes will be updated in a consistent manner in all the other corresponding views, plans, sections, elevations, schedules, renderings, etc. ARCHICAD provides you with a hassle-free and comprehensive layouting function right out of the box. The layout book lets you set up various project views, as well as other materials from different sources, giving you all the tools you need to produce high-quality working drawings and paper-based presentations that can be easily understood by engineers, construction partners, and clients. With ARCHICAD, you'll spend less time on documentation. The BIM project model is at the cutting edge of effective documentation and management. Construction documents and files can be derived without any additional software and practically no repetitive work. Automatic page numbering, multiple master pages, and intelligent title blocks remove repetitious work and make compliance with office standards easier, thus saving you time. Once all the views are set, you can easily create virtual sheets in the layout book area of the navigator. The standard template contains a predefined set of layouts based on the local standards. If you use a localized version of the program, you may find a different layout and numbering structure there. For this training, we're using the international version. Let's explore the content of the layout book first. Click on the layout book icon of the navigator. Click on some floor plans and elevations to see the content. The placed drawings automatically show the model. Open the A24E04 West Elevation layout. Its appearance is nice, but it doesn't meet our needs. We want more graphical details, such as textures and shadows. We can set this up for all viewpoints together. Let's start with the elevations. Go to the project map of the navigator and select all elevations. Click on the Settings button in the Properties panel. In the Model Display panel of the Elevation Selection Settings dialog, check the following checkboxes. Cut Elements section, Uniform Pen for Cut Elements. Uncut Elements section, Uniform Pen for Uncut Elements, Vectorial 3D Hatching, Transparency. Sun and Shadow section, Sun Shadow, and Marked Distant Area. Marked Distant Area section, Uniform Pen for Uncut Elements, Vectorial 3D Hatching, Sun Shadow. Leave the pen settings as they are and click OK. Select the West Elevation drawing in the layout book. Right-click and choose the Update Context menu command. The graphical appearance will immediately update. It's almost perfect, but some parts might look faded. This happens when the distance area is too close to the entire building. Let's fix this problem in the floor plan view. Switch to the ground floor tab and select the west elevation marker. A secondary line indicates where the faded part starts. This is a screen only line and will not be shown on any printed documents. Click on this line and drag it so the building is between the two lines of the elevation marker. 
you can simply drag it to the main east elevation marker line. Repeat this with the other elevation markers. When finished, select the sections in the project map and adjust their settings as well. Now let's go back to the layouts and see the results. Open the A24 West Elevation layout. This view is automatically updated and reflects the last changes made. Open the West Elevation in the view map and place some 2D trees as you did earlier in the basic ARCHICAD training. Set up these objects with the Site and Landscape General Layer. Don't forget to send them back using the display order commands. Open the A024 West Elevation layout to see the results. 